Hey guys, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. I had a lot of problems trying to understand Affinity Photos version 2 compound masks. I looked at a tutorial and I said, what would I use that for? And I was planning on doing a Photoshop tutorial that I saw recently from, from a site called Mood on YouTube. And then I looked at it and I thought, that would be a perfect way to use compound masks. And so I think I've, I think I figured it out and I think it's so much easier now in my head. So now I understand it and I hope you get to understand it too and find ways of using it like I have. So let's get started. I just pulled in this banana the, I think the uh, tutorial was of a pepper. It doesn't matter. You can pull in anything you want from stock photos or Google or anything. And I'm going to get uh, some text on here and I'm typing in banana. B A N A N A. There you go. And let's get it down to the size we might want. And let's say maybe over here would be good. And I'll stretch it a little. And now I'm going to use the uh, mesh warp. I normally use the live mesh warp, but in this case, there's no reason to. And the live mesh warp takes up more processing power, so I, I'm, not, I'm not going to use it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to the regular mesh warp here, and I'm just going to kind of warp this banana into some sort of shape like the banana is, of course. And I think this looks like it's almost there. There you go. That's close enough. I don't even mind some of this being off the bottom. I could move it up a little. But that's just about where I want it to be. So we're going to apply. Now I'm going to show you two ways. I'm going to show you how we do it without compound mask. And then I'm going to show you how you do it with compound mask. First, I'm going to create a selection of this banana. So I'm going to control or command click on the icon on the layer. And there you go. And now I'm just going to turn that off. I don't even need that anymore. And now I'm going to go to the banana and I am going to add a mask to that. And then I'm going to deselect control or command D. So that basically by having that selection, the mask had that selection there too. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to undo a few things afterwards because I want to show you the compound part. But in the tutorial online, what it showed, let me move this up. In the tutorial online, what it showed was you go now to the paintbrush and make sure you hit D to get the black and white in your colors. And when you switch it to white, you can bring back the banana. So which I thought, and they, I think they did it with a pepper, but I'm doing it with a banana. Some caveat to notice, I was having issues like, why is my banana not showing up so clearly? This, it's working now, but I realized that I had wet edges turned on. So when you have wet edges turned on, it, it doesn't give you a pure black. So make sure you're aware of that. So this is what they did. And this is a simple tutorial. And I thought that was very cool. And you can do effects to it or anything you want later on. But I thought that was pretty cool. But then I thought to myself, what if you wanted, I'm just going to be, I'm using my left bracket to make the brush smaller. What if I wanted to go like this or something, right? And maybe I went like a little too far. And I'm going, wait a minute, I didn't want to do that. Now my problem is my mask is already there. Now I can undo or or maybe I just made my mistake, but I can't really like go like this and say, oh, let me take that away and let me take that away. So this is where compound masks are really great. So let me undo that. So now we're back down to our mask. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, now that we have that mask, that's in there, doesn't really matter. Now that we have that mask, I'm going to go on the bottom here and say mask, compound mask. So now we have a compound mask. And in that compound mask, I want to put this mask inside there. And then I'm going to add another mask. 
and put that one inside there too. And I'm now the banana shows, so I'm going to invert that mask, which is Controller Command I, because we don't want to show the mask. Now, remember before when I went to the first mask and I started painting, if I made a mistake, I'd have to do all these undos. I am going to go to the second mask now and start painting back in my banana, I hope. And in white, there we go. Put my put my brush on white and start painting my banana back in. Just like that. And let's paint that in here. And that looks pretty good. Now let's say I decided, hey, maybe I want to get rid of, maybe I want to cover up this hole in the A and see how that looks and that looks. Well, if I decide to change my mind, I have to keep doing undos. But now, because it's a separate mask, I can switch over to white. I'm hitting the X to switch to white. And now I can bring that right back. And it doesn't affect the original mask. And how cool is that? I mean, you can try different things. For example, maybe I want this side of the A to show. And I can go like that. And like that. So... That's I think this is very cool. So I'm going to I'm going to bring that back cuz I don't want that part side of the A to show and the B. And let's bring that back. So you the first mask stays and then make sure you invert the second mask so it's all black and it's not showing anything and then you do what you want to do to the second mask and it's all in this compound mask and we were not able to do that in version 1 and I don't believe you can do it in Photoshop either. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.